Hello, just checking I'm in focus. Motorbike. I love my neighbours. I love my neighbours. Hello, today is a pain day. My back is screaming. It's like I'm being stabbed by a wooden spoon. There's nothing like starting a vlog with graphic imagery. All my brain can think about is, is pain. Um, so I'm, I'm struggling a bit. <laughs> today I was gonna sit and paint. Oh, big hair, hello big hair. Um, but because of the back, I'm just gonna sit and talk and then do some painting when I feel better. <laughs> this will all tie together, but it's not quite what I was gonna do. So my dad and I have been going through all the stuff in the loft and we came across loads of my old canvases from school. Actually, this is quite nice to lean on, this. Um, anyway, not necessarily canvases I'm proud of, but canvases that were a part of my life, say, 10, 12 years ago. We came across some horrific canvases um, that I don't feel comfortable showing you, but this one, I wanna talk about it. I might just use this as my crutch. Um, because it's so big, I can't get it on the screen all at once. Um, but yeah, this is it. It's gonna mess up my white balance. Let's just leave it there. Oh, ooh, 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 pain, ha ha ha. So this is one of a couple of canvases that I painted around winter 2009, um, as part of a project at college for perspectives. The art teachers took us all on a big art photography trip to a shopping centre. We had a few tasks to do at the shopping centre, and no, none of it involved shopping, unfortunately. We had to photograph as many perspectives as possible, get creative with our photography, zoom in, look at shapes. It was mainly about gathering inspiration um, and stuff to manipulate in future projects. It was an interesting trip. This was 2009 when the camera phones we had were terrible quality and one of the tasks was to take photos. So we all brought our DSLRs. So having 60 students holding DSLRs walking around a shopping center did not go down very well. <laughs> the teachers soon realized the mistake they had made. Um, but I guess nowadays you can get away with it with these. That probably doesn't sound as funny as it was. It, it was funny, but it meant that every photo that we took was like a, um, success. One of the photos I took on this trip was this, and there was something about it that I loved. I loved the lines and the curves and the perspective. So anyway, all of this then led to this canvas here. We had to paint a massive painting of one of the photos of Lakeside um, in complementary colours. One thing I absolutely love exploring is colour, so the nature of this task really appealed to me. I don't necessarily love complementary colours, sometimes it can make my head hurt, but definitely placing certain colours next to each other um, creates a sort of harmony in my brain. I know lots of my friends did pink versus green. Nope, I did yellow versus blue, orange versus blue. We could do it in oils or acrylics, and at that time I was obsessed with oils. I was not comfortable with acrylic. So yeah, I did oils. It was a nightmare. When oils dry, it's fine, uh, but when you're trying to paint opposite colours whilst they're both still wet next to each other, oh, it was stressful, it's annoying. You can see bits of green where the colours merge. But by that point, I had realised my mistake and I couldn't go back. I remember this big line really well. I watched someone do it. I remember being torn what colour to paint the people, or if I should even paint people full stop. I ended up painting black and grey, almost like a lilac colour here, because the paint mixed. So colour-wise, I love this, but I hate the execution. I mean, I hate this painting so much, I've not looked after it, look. I've got a massive hole in it. I've got a feeling I might have stabbed it at one point. So I guess in the end I kind of abandoned it. <laughs> this week's the first time I've looked at this in a long time. Um, and I'm very disappointed in myself by how bad it is. So in my brain, I said to myself, Becca, let's redo it properly. Let's do it in acrylics. Let's play around with color. Let's create a really awesome painting. One that I'm proud of. I was going to then insert a montage of me painting this, but seeing as I've talked about this so much, I think I'll have to do another video on this. This is like a intro video to when I redo this. <laughs> Maybe this is more of the history behind this painting. Now you appreciate the context. So when I repaint it, you know that it's had a history. When I redo this, I don't think I'll do people. You know, let's just make it a ghost town. 
Despite the fact I don't like this painting, and in a way I was forced to do it for school, if I hadn't have painted this then I wouldn't be vlogging about it now, and I wouldn't be inspired to do more stuff. Um, so, so thank you painting, thank you for existing, thank you for the inspiration. Oh, this vlog is all over the place. <laughs> because of my back, I don't think I'm going to be able to paint this in one sitting, so I will come up with a video idea to encompass me painting this. Maybe film little snippets over the whole process. We're going to paint something bit by bit, we're going to do this, I want to do this. If you found this vlog entertaining or interesting, please let me know. I'd love to talk about all of this in the comments below. And thank you for watching this the whole way through. All right, I'm done. Don't forget to click the links here and I will see you in the next one. I'm gonna go and stock up on painkillers. Woohoo! <sighs>